Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today we're going to do a more affordable video but I kind of wanted to center this look around brands that are more convenient, easier to find at your local Walmart, Target, your local drugstore, grocery store, Amazon. So not everything I have in here is super, super affordable. Um, I am using products from Well People and Mineral Fusion, and those products can get a little bit more pricey, but I wanted to shed some light on some different products and brands that you can find while you're getting your groceries or while you're going and buying some diapers, you know, um, just things that are kind of in like along the way in your normal routine that maybe you can just pick up some products while you're at a certain store or you know get free two-day shipping you know right to your doorstep from Amazon. The basis of this video is just to kind of show you some different brands and different products and then of course you can make whatever look your little heart desires. So before we get into the video make sure you grab something to drink I'm just drinking a ton of water. My skin has been having a lot of issues as I talked about in my last video, so I'm just trying to stay hydrated, take care of my skin from the inside out. So I've got a big old glass of lemon water and we're gonna go ahead and get right into it. All right, so uh, I've already done my skincare. I'm just gonna do a little bit of a primer. It acts more like a moisturizer. And when it comes to buying more affordable makeup, if you are on a budget or if you're just not wanting to spend a bunch of money on a bunch of different products, I would just say skip a primer altogether. Just make sure that you have a good moisturized base, something that works well with your skin, that doesn't irritate your skin, that works well under makeup. Any kind of moisturizer, you do not have to go out and buy a priming product. But for today, I'm going to use the Good Molecules good molecules silicone free priming moisturizer this is a really great lightweight moisturizer that works very well under makeup um, especially for those of you who have more oily combination skin it's not heavy at all and i find that sometimes i need to add a little bit of oil to this because i it it's not as moisturizing as i would personally like but because it is the summertime i've been really enjoying this and it just provides a nice moisturized base for whatever makeup you're going to apply on top. Alright, so one of my favorite foundations from the drugstore is the Burt's Bees Goodness Glows Foundation. It's a great solid medium coverage. So I'm just going to take some in my hand. I use the shade Natural Beige. I'm just going to kind of warm it up and just press it on the face. I am going to be blending it out with a sponge, but I just kind of want to apply the product onto my face first. And if you are looking for a great sponge that is more affordable, I would highly recommend the Flower Beauty Sponge. I think this is around $10. Um, it is by far my favorite sponge from the drugstore. It reminds me so much of the original Beauty Blender. So this is a really, really great one. You do not need to spend a ton of money on sponges or just tools in general. And of course, you can always use your hands. You don't even have to use a sponge or a brush. Um, but this one I've really been enjoying. So another really great quality uh, drugstore brand is e.l.f. I know not everyone is going to want to use e.l.f., but I'm just trying to provide you with more options at the drugstore. And some and a product that I really, really love is their hydrating camo concealer. So they have an original camo concealer, which is very, very matte. It's a little too matte for me. So I've really been enjoying their camo concealer. And I'm going to take the shade Medium Peach. And I'm just going to use a little bit of this in the inner corners. And on any areas where I need a little bit more coverage. But this is a great, I think it's like $5 concealer. Um, it's got great coverage, performs very, very well. So if you are just trying to find, again, just good cruelty-free vegan options from the drugstore, e.l.f. is another great option. 
Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and set my face, and to set my under eyes, I pulled this Well People Bio Base Baked Foundation. Well People is sold at Target, so I think that's great. It's more convenient. Uh, they also sell it at Whole Foods and Sprouts, I believe. Maybe not Sprouts, um, but some natural grocers sell it, so um, this is definitely a more convenient option. Um, I know Well People is not the most affordable brand. They're definitely not like a drugstore price point. But it is kind of, I feel like it's a mid-range brand. You know, it's not like Fit Glow or Vapor or Ilia, um, but it's you know also not Burt's Bees. So I just wanted to throw this option in there just to give you another option for a brand if you're looking for some. And um, well, people ha uses really great ingredients. They are EWG verified. Um, the one thing I will say about a lot of their cream products is they do use coconut oil so just something to be aware of that's why i can't use their tinted moisturizer or their concealer which i used to love those but they broke me out like crazy but i really really enjoy their powder products so i'm going to use this i have the shade fair golden which is a little too light for my entire face so i'm just taking this on my under eye and kind of the center of my face and then another powder that you can get at target is, uh, or another brand you can get at Target is Mineral Fusion. So I'm gonna take their Pressed Base Foundation. This is in the shade Warm 2. And I'm just gonna take it on a large brush, just a tiny, tiny bit. It is a powder foundation and it does pack quite a bit of punch. So I don't wanna take too, too much, but I do wanna set down my face. I am going for a little bit more coverage today. I'm just in the mood. And I'm actually using a Flower Beauty brush as well. They are cruelty-free and vegan. Again, just really great option if you're looking for nice, affordable tools at the drugstore. Flower Beauty makes some really nice ones. This Mineral Fusion powder is actually really nice. It definitely has quite a bit of coverage. So um, you could obviously wear it on its own as a foundation if you like powder foundations. Um, if you can find your shade. But um, yeah, it's definitely added quite a bit of coverage to my face. All right, so I'm gonna do a little bit of bronzer. One of my favorite, more affordable bronzers is the Honest Beauty Luminizing Glow Powder in the shade Dusk Reflection. This only comes in one shade. That is a big, big downside, but it is one of my favorites. It's one that I reach for regularly. Um, it's got a nice sheen to it, but it's not shimmery. Um, it just looks so beautiful on the skin. It has a really pretty kind of reddish undertone. So I feel like it looks super natural on the skin. And it looks like I've actually gotten a bit of sun. So I really wish they would come out with more shades. They have another shade in this formula that is very, very light. So it would be a great highlighter. And then also, if you are a deeper complexion, you could use this powder as a highlighter as well. I don't know if this is supposed to be a bronzer or if it is a highlighter for deeper skin tones. I just use it as a bronzer because, you know, obviously it's way too dark on me to use as a highlighter. But this would be a really pretty highlight on deeper complexions because it doesn't have any chunky, glitter or shimmer it looks super super natural all right and then another brand that i talk about a lot when i do these more affordable kind of drugstore tutorials is undone beauty so they do use talc in their powder products so for example this highlighter palette does contain talc but it is a great cruelty-free option. I don't think everything in their line is vegan, but they do have vegan options. So I am going to be doing some purple on the eyes. So I'm actually going to dip into this purpley shade up top. I actually love using this as an eyeshadow. It's really, really pretty. And then these shades down here are stunning. Let me swatch. So I just kind of swirled my finger in all of those. I don't know if y'all can. There we go but I mean, super, super intense. So a little goes a long way. I'm just gonna take this and, oh, so pretty. Very, very intense, so I would recommend using a light hand, but these powders are so buttery and creamy. Um, again, they're cream products. I think all of them contain coconut oil, so I cannot use them. But their cream products are actually beautiful. I used to use their Glow Tint, I think is what it's called. 
and that is a gorgeous, gorgeous foundation. Their concealer is really nice too. All right, and then for blush, another great, more affordable brand is PYT. So I'm gonna take their Heartbeat Cheek Color in the shade Hustle. And I picked this one because it's a little bit more of a mauve color. So I think it'll look really pretty with the purples that we are gonna put on the eyes. All right, and then before we move on to the eyes, I'm gonna spray everything down just to melt all the powders together. I've actually used quite a bit of powder today. I normally kind of incorporate some creams, but because I am using so many powders, I'm gonna use a little bit of a facial mist. Uh, this is the Pacifica Rose Flower Hydro Mist. I love Pacifica's mist. Um, they do contain fragrance, so just something to keep in mind. Um, but they're really nice, they're really affordable, but any kind of glycerin-based mist or aloe-based mist, uh, the Thayer's Rose Rose Witch Hazel Toner, that's a really great one. Heritage Store Rose Water and Glycerin Spray, that's one of my old favorites. I use that all the time, so anything like that, you don't have to use this, but this is a nice option from the drugstore. And then what I like to do, so that I don't have any little droplets sitting on my face, is I just go in with my sponge and press it all in. And then for the brows, I'm actually going to take some soap and I'm going to take that same spray. Just spray that down. And I'm going to take a spoolie. And this is the cheapest brow gel, but it is the best brow gel. I actually prefer brow soap or soap in my brows over any other brow gel just because it performs so well and i think i got this bar of soap for like a dollar um just any kind of clear soap will work and then one of my favorite brow products from the drugstore is this benicos uh, eyebrow designer i actually got mine at a store called market street it is a grocery store local to me they also sell benicos on amazon and i don't know where else you can get this but it is very affordable i think i got this brow pencil for eight dollars and it is one of my favorites it is such a good formula so i'm gonna really lightly fill in my brows all right so before moving on to the eyes i'm gonna add a little bit of lip balm and this is actually new from pacifica it's their vegan care balm um, it's for the lips and the skin. Um, I've just been using it on my lips because it has a ton of fragrance in it. Whatever their like fragrance blend is, uh, it's supposedly all natural. I don't know if they use essential oils, what they use, um, but I've just been using this on my lips. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this. I'm using the peach shimmer, the peach shimmer one with jojoba. All right, so for the eyes, I'm gonna take this Julep Cream to Powder Eyeshadow Stick in the shade Orchid Shimmer. These are some of my favorite cream shadows from the drugstore. You can get Julep at Target. Um, I'm not 100% sure where else you can get Julep. They stopped selling Julep makeup at Ulta. They used to sell it there, so Target is the only place that I know of. These are fantastic, and um, they kind of look like the Laura Mercier Caviar Sticks. I've never tried those, so I can't compare them formula wise, but just the look of them, they look very, very similar. And this is such a great formula. They're super creamy. They apply so nicely, as you can see, and they do dry down to a more, I wouldn't say it's like a hundred percent powdery finish, but it's, it's definitely more of a matte finish. So I'm just going to take a brush. And just blend that out this is just gonna be our base I am gonna be going in with more shadows I know I used this in my last drugstore video so this is not gonna be the star of the show but I just really wanted to use this because I love this color all right I'm also gonna take this along my lower lash line all right, so I have a palette from Undone Beauty. This is their soft palette.
palette. They have a few different eyeshadow palettes. I actually have three of them. The formula on these is incredible. They are so creamy, so buttery. This palette is all, well, except for this one. It's all shimmer metallic glitter, except for this one shade right here. But they're so, so nice. So I'm going to go into this shade. They don't have names. So I'm just going to take this shade right here. The one thing is they are all touching each other, so you have to use some kind of brush or just be kind of careful if you dip your finger in there um, so you don't get another eyeshadow on your brush. But I'm just going to pat this all over the lid and then just blend it through my crease. I'm going to take that same shade and run it along my lower lash line as well. Alright, so you can absolutely leave the eye look like this, but I want to do something a little bit more fun and really play with the purple. So I'm going to go back into this highlighter, and this is what it looks like. Oh, it's so, so pretty. Oh my gosh. Let's see, there we go. So, so pretty. So I'm just going to take this on my finger and just pat this. Focusing mainly on the center of my lid, but I'm going to start patting it kind of outwards and blending it across the entire lid. Alright, and then just to help blend my eye look out a little bit more, I'm going to take a tiny bit of my bronzer. And this will also kind of tie the purples and the color that we have going on in the eyes with the rest of a look, having a little bit of our bronzer. And this won't change the overall like tone of the eyes. It's still going to look purple, but just adding a slight bit of that will help kind of bring it all together. All right, and then one last step, I promise, to zhuzh this up. You do not have to do this step, but I'm going to take this PYT Glam Glitter Gel. This is in the shade Pink. And it translates more to me like a lavender. I mean, it definitely has a lot of pink in it, but it's got um, some really pretty purple glitter to it. Oh, there it is. So that was, whoops, this was the highlighter that we applied, and then this is the Glam Glitter Gel. Right on top. And you have to be careful when applying these glitters on top of powders because they will pick up the powders underneath if you swipe or if you kind of push too hard. So just use a really light hand. Just kind of do small little tapping motions. And then I'm going to go back in with my highlighter. And I'm going to take a tiny bit of that on my lower lash line as well. All right, and then for mascara, I'm going to use the Well People Expressionist Mascara. This is one of my favorites. All right, and then I'm going to go back in with that Julep pencil in Orchid Shimmer. And I'm going to run that on my lower waterline. All right, and then for the lips, I'm going to take the Mineral Fusion Lip Liner in the shade Elegant, which is a nice kind of pinky nude. Now I'm just going to take my finger and really smudge this in and I'm just going to use this as my lip color and then I will go over top with a gloss. Alright, so I've recently been testing out a ton of Tower 28 products. I don't have my full thoughts yet, but I am going to apply their gloss today. This is their Shine On Lip Jelly in the shade Chill. Uh, you can get Tower 28 at Credo. I'm not 100% sure where else. I know there's one other place, but I can't remember. Um, so I'm going to go and apply this, but it's super affordable. I think these are around $14. Alright guys, so that completes this video. I hope you enjoyed. I am trying to incorporate more affordable 
videos on my channel um, because I know that a lot of the brands I talk about are quite pricey so I definitely want to try and uh, find some new brands and just kind of show y'all some uh, alternatives at the drugstore or at Target, Amazon that are maybe a little bit easier on the wallet. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching as always. Remember I love you, God loves you, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys!